this is going to be a knot. This is a big knot. <laughs> Today on Nom or Not, we're cage matching rainbow food. The nominees are birthday cake croissant versus rainbow pizza versus rainbow pretzel versus the unicorn bar. Which one will be the noms? No! Which one will be the knots? No! Let's find out. <laughs> Nom or not. Nom or not time. Love this game. Love it. What are we eating today? So today, we are going to be eating rainbow foods. Rainbow foods. Rainbow foods. Anything that has to do with the rainbow. We are going to eat the rainbow. Oh, all right. Let's do it. What would make it a nom for you? What are you looking for? I want something that actually tastes good. I don't want uh -huh. this just to be a trendy thing yeah. that just, hey, they want to just throw all this rainbow stuff on there and then it's like, look, buy this rainbow thing because you've never had a rainbow thing before. Right. I want it to actually taste good. I don't want it to just be colorful. Okay, so we're not looking for it to be trendy and just there for the colors to for the sake of being a rainbow exactly. something. Exactly. You want to actually have a good tasting experience. That's a nom for me. What about you? I mean, I completely agree with that. I'm looking for something that is extremely flavorful okay. and maybe steering towards the savory land. I worry that the trendiness of this mm -hmm. is gonna make a lot of these knots. Well, I'm excited, so let's get to it. You got it. Ooh. You don't have to wait for your birthday to have the birthday cake croissant. Croissant. Croissants are made by folding the dough multiple times with cold butter. Oh, oh snap, look at all that butter. That's a lot. Holy. A big square of this rainbow sprinkled flavored butter on top of the dough. OK, yep. no, yep. no. Yep. What? Rainbow sprinkles don't taste Wait. like anything. This right rainbow sprinkle flavored oh, butter. No. no, rainbow sprinkles, oh, they, yeah, no. I, they're sugary. Like they, they have like some sweetness to it. Rainbow sprinkles aren't a flavor. The edges are folded up like a big present. First of all, no one gets presents anymore after a certain age. Let's be honest. I know. What was the last time you got a wrapped present? Like, little thing. For a birthday? Oh, I haven't gotten a wrapped birthday present in forever. Yeah. That's just not how it happens anymore. Why didn't you get me a birthday present? Because we went out. Oh, true. The seams are pinched, and it gets stamped down with a rolling pin. Her step tracker is like 20, 80, <laughs> 90. Are you running from someone? Are you in danger? <laughs> we notify the authorities. SOS. <laughs> Then the dough is rolled up into that classic croissant shape. But I think party croissant is the, is the best name. Party croissant. I would love a party croissant. I'll take a, I'll take a disco nap and a party croissant. Ooh, disco croissant. Ooh. Pastry cream and whipped cream get a shower of rainbow sprinkles. The rainbow filling is piped into the bottom of each croissant. This is not a safe croissant. Can yeah, it's gonna... One more time, I just wanna make sure I know what... Okay. To finish, each one gets a sprinkling of fairy dust, pulverized sprinkles. We sprinkle it with fairy they dust. Sprinkle bite it. into it. They're like, ah! <laughs> I see rainbows everywhere. It feels like you're eating a piece of cake in a light, airy, flaky croissant. I'm a knot. Yes. Before that filling goes in on the inside, I could eat that croissant for breakfast because it doesn't taste really like no. anything different. Yes. The filling, it's gonna be plopping out. It's gonna taste, it's all buttery. It's so buttery. I'm just gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed by everything. And then I don't even get the rainbow aspect of it. Enough talk, let's taste so we can see who's, who's right. right. <gasps> Thank, Thank you. you. I'm still nervous about what's gonna happen. I love it. Whoa. I'm just gonna bite it. You're gonna go in for the mid, from the middle like that? I don't know. Let me stress me out now. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. I ate my hair. Are you ready? I made my decision. One, two, three. Come on! Oh, really? You're not telling the truth. I, I swear. You are not telling me the truth. I thought it was good. The filling? You liked it? Yeah. I think I got a bad batch. What do you mean a bad batch? We had the same batch. I don't know. Mine was sour. That's what I liked about it. Oh, no. Forget about it. With yeah. the sourness and the buttery, it confused my whole thing. Oh, I disagree. I wanted it to be sweet, and I got sour. I loved that. I thought it was... It was good. It was like a, a sour... A sour cream, cream cheese, with a little bit of sweetness. I was... 
I can go in for another bite. Oh, I can't even watch. Genuinely can't even watch. Oh my god, it was not! Oh, okay. The croissant is good. Mm -hmm. It's flaky, delicious little croissant. That rainbow part in the middle really ruined it for me. And the fairy dust don't add a thing. So honestly, this is a failed rainbow. You know what's at the end of this rainbow? Nothing. Just a leprechaun who's trying to kill me. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I mean, it's pizza. Pizza's never bad. I love pizza. Why is it red onion if it's literally purple? Maybe like, purple hadn't been invented yet. Who invented purple? <laughs> the same people that like get really pissed off about like pineapples and ham being on pizza would be so mad about this right now. He's like, they're ruining the pizza! <laughs> so the problem is, I'm worried that every bite is going to taste like the just the veggie that's there. Two bites will be a full-on corn pizza. Corn? You don't like corn? On the plus side, uh -huh. it's cool to know that they're adding colors like rainbow colors with natural ingredients. You know what I mean? It's not like, we added sprinkles, we added food coloring. Like, this is like nature food coloring. This is actually rainbow that has flavor. This is a rainbow that you taste on yes. a regular basis, but now it just happens to all be together. It looks like a knot right now because you saw that it was in like a ring, so am I just gonna have like an onion pizza? Oh, that would be terrible. A broccoli pizza, an orange bell pepper pizza, you know what I mean? Okay, so would you dig it if it was just like, they put it down in front of you and then you were like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish they would present this to me and be like, here is your pizza, rainbow and pizza. Then you're like, this is looking like a nom for me. I'm, I love pizza, and even if you throw corn on it, you can't go wrong with pizza. I'm down. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Don't say it again. Don't say it again. <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. Look at the colors on that thing. Mm. Smell like cabbage. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be tough. It, this is gonna be a real messy mama. You're vacuuming later. Oh. Uh, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? No. Oh. Before we decide, mm -hmm. I should probably take another bite just in case. Uh huh. I'm not getting it yet. Yeah. One more. I feel like I should just double check. Mm -hmm. The you crust could be completely different. The crust could be totally yeah. different. Mm. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Obviously. We knew. I already knew. That's I mean, delish. like that. Uh -huh. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. The veggies are fresh. Oh. It's pizza. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I love the presentation of it. It's beautiful. It's fresh. It's almost like getting, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different pizzas in one pizza. Right. Like it's like every every bite's then, a different taste. Yeah, and then you'll fun. get like, you know, you, there's bell peppers on it, but bell peppers and corn, bell peppers and yeah. tomatoes. Peppers. We also aren't eating it like this, like. Because what are we, idiots? No. no, we're taking big old bites, getting all the flavors. Exactly. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, this is a nom. It's definitely, definitely. a nom. Total we nom. No, this is a nom. Yeah. I wonder if it tastes as good, though, in like other rooms. So what? I'm gonna double check no. what? that. It's good in here, too. You're literally eating it in front of my face. You're not even in another room. It's good in the kitchen. Don't take it in the bathroom. You never Every know. Time with her. Before the break, the birthday cake croissant won a nom from Courtney, but a not from Mike. The perfectly crafted rainbow pizza. Both Courtney and Mike gave it a hearty nom. Which nominees will be next? How will they vote? Let's find out. Birthday cake stuffed pretzel. Pay attention. A perfectly good vanilla confetti cake is crumbled up and thrown in a bowl full of freshly made vanilla frosting. Oh, he, he really goes this, to town on oh the cake. My, this person was dying to just, just like, get their hands dirty. Just like a three-year-old on their birthday. He was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah! With an ice cream scoop, she mushes the mixture into six-ounce balls. He used the word mush <laughs> as if it was like a technical term. Yeah. Like, Hello, welcome to Cooking 101. Uh, we're gonna be mushing the dough. Classic mush <laughs> technique. This big baby is now ready to be tucked in. Yo, I'm all about this music right now. It's time to put a bow on this birthday present. Once it's out of the oven, the pretzel cake is smothered with creamy chocolate frosting. If someone took a picture of this and said, I'm eating a rainbow pretzel, I was thinking, I that's not a rainbow pretzel at all. The sprinkles are rainbow. And yeah. 
you claim that there's rainbows in there, but. That's like those people that like put those like projection lights at Christmas time on their house and they project like yeah. like little lights on their house. They're like, I decorated them. Like, that's cheating. That's you decor. put club lights against your house and you were like, yeah, Christmas. Right. I'm an old, old man. I'm best ah. They're creamy and gooey inside. They're fabulous. The reason I'm going to say nom right now nom? is because I love me a pretzel. Do love pretzel pretzels. bread, pretzel dough, pretzel anything I'm like all about. I'm gonna say that this is a not for me. Really? Yes. I just think that it's like they, they threw rainbow sprinkles on it. Yeah. And they were like, whoa, special event. You could have it on your birthday because it's got sprinkles. Cheating. But like, that's like I put sprinkles on yeah. this and I was like, here you go. Happy birthday. Rainbow popcorn. And then everyone's like, oh my God, I've never seen rainbow oh, yeah. popcorn. Oh, that filter. Oh my God. What's your favorite part of the pretzel? I'm a fan of this part, but I also oh. love the little nubs. <laughs> I am not a nub guy, actually. I find really? that to be the most burnt part of the pretzel, and I like having like an inside that's been soft and there's a crunch on the outside. That, to me, is always like... I feel like that part is like reserved for people that are like, I just want a little bite. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I just want like a Give little, a little, like, little taste. Like a little. Are we ready for our nibble, though? Yeah. Do you know how to cut anything? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, here we go. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! I liked it. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 All right, that's it. I was wrong. I thought it would be too sweet. I was nervous too. I was yeah. like, it's gonna be too sweet with the icing and the cake on the exactly. inside and the icing on the outside. But like, the pretzel is still kind of the star. It tastes like a pretzel with sweetness. I think pretzels need to be given an award for being a fantastic flavor vehicle. Get on in. Jump on. Jump on, buds. This is a good ride. The Unicorn Bar is a purple sugar cookie with sprinkles and sparkles on a shortbread crust. Yeah, so this is a craft store on shortbread. Yeah. To make it, they start with a shortbread crust, which is a mix of powdered sugar, unsalted butter, and flour. The filling for this bar is where things get magical. Wait, so huh? it looks like a cake. I think I heard shortbread and I was like, cookies! Yeah, you were, you were all. <laughs> Probably cake, man. Red food coloring is added, followed by blue. To this, they're adding a legendary amount of sprinkles. Oh. A legendary <laughs> amount of sprinkles that we were able to hold in a bowl because it's not that much. If it was like a flamethrower of sprinkles. Just spraying it everywhere, be like, yeah, that's legendary. They put the sprinkles in like one of those t-shirt guns. And they're <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah, exactly. Like, I want to see some that's actual legendary. legendary. The sprinkle studded batter is poured onto the shortbread. They spread it out so every inch is covered. Also, there is nothing like, in here that says unicorn to me. I think it means like a unicorn would eat it. <laughs> Each one gets a heart of purple frosting and a sprinkle of edible glitter. Why do they have to classify it as edible glitter? Do you think people would be dumb enough to put like glitter glitter on there? Yes, they'll just eat anything. Because every cookie deserves its chance to shine. Imagine going on a first date and you're like, I'll take the unicorn thing and then afterwards you're like, just glitter mouth. There's like glitter everywhere. <laughs> just... You're like, hi, and they're like. I had such a lovely night tonight. It was beautiful, they're like, oh, okay, well. You ate a craft store, yeah. so uh, yeah. you don't really. He greeted me, it was great, but he had glitter on his mouth. I think he eats glitter. You whip out glue from your bag, you're like, oh, yeah. sorry. sorry, I ran from the subway. Where's my pipe cleaner? <laughs> there we go. Mm. I'm gonna nom this. I'm gonna I'm nom this hard. You're gonna nom this hard? Yeah. I okay. love shortbread. I think the shortbread can carry this through to a complete nom. Actually, I agree. Shortbread is just dope. It, it's got that buttery, mm -hmm. really nice flavor to it. I think for something as colorful as it is, it's uh -huh. not going to be as sweet as I expect it to be. Oh, yeah. But I'm also mostly just excited to eat it so I know what it is. I agree. I would like some clarity, and I think my mouth will give me that. Come to the grab. Oh, mama. Okay, I am ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three.
Before the break, the not-so-rainbow pretzel was a nom, and the ever-elusive unicorn bar is continuing to tickle their taste buds. Will it be worthy of its mystical name? Let's find out. Okay, I am ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, really? The shortbread's still uh, good? Maybe that's just the thing. Maybe I just like the shortbread. Is that enough to clarify that a nom? It must be because it's so one note for me. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm just getting shortbread with like little crunches in it. But I love that it's so good. This is a unicorn. This is like a unicorn dessert. Oh, that's a good point. And unicorn's supposed to be like crazy. I can't believe they did that out of this world. There's nothing to describe it. And this is just like shortbread with sprinkles on it. You're right. Can I change a vote? If out, I of just, out of principle. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do what you I don't know. Hey, if you like shortbread, it's just not. It's only here that I like shortbread. Here I didn't like it, and my brain's telling me, you know that's little unicorn. I'm sorry, little but little fella. Sorry, guys. You were good, but... Wow. That was a legendary argument you made. I, the argument was legendary, but what wasn't legendary was the amount of uh, sprinkles that was in that. When I think about <laughs> rainbows, I think about singing. When I think about singing, it's about a rainbow. When I think about rainbows, I think about it. When I think about, okay. <laughs> what do I invite you anywhere? Listen. Yeah. That was good. What I like about rainbow is that it doesn't necessarily have to be something sweet. And I love when the colors are like super vibrant and like, hey, check me out, but like very flavorful. But if we were to figure out which was the biggest nom and which was the biggest nut, what are, what are we thinking? I think we know the biggest nom. The biggest nom? I think we both have the same one. All right. On the count of three? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. Rainbow, Rainbow pizza. pizza. Yeah. Nailed I mean, it. it's. We're best friends. It were, we, we are. It was fresh. Thanks. Tasted lovely. Yeah. All the ingredients, although they were separated, worked so well together. Right. Every bite was like a journey. The you, rainbow wasn't there just to be like, look at me, I'm a rainbow. It me. added color and it added texture and it added flavor to boot. Let's talk a boot. The biggest knot, shall Ooh, we? Now this one's gonna be, I don't think we can do this one at the same time. You don't think so? No. All right, ready? One, one two, two, three. Rainbow Unicorn croissants. Unicorn shortbread. Oh, get what? out of town, no. sister. No. You get out of town. Uh, it's a matter of taste. I really think we're gonna disagree because you hated it. You were like, oh my God, it's like curdled milk. I hate the sour. It was so good. No, it's not that good. You ended up not the liking it. The rainbow croissant was just, eh. Croissant was fine, but here's the thing. The rainbow aspect for me, totally ruined it. I loved all the flavors. I loved the texture. I loved the croissant so much. It was flaky, it was buttery. It had nice little crunches in it because of the sprinkles. And then the inside was like this savory birthday cake. It was so good. It was so good. So out of all those things, you really thought the worst one was the shortbread cookie? It's whatever, it's good, I'd eat it but would I wait outside for five hours for it? Would I tell my friends that they have to try it? No, it was just like shortbread that was like a few different colors. Mm -mm. Agree to disagree? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. 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 Then I guess we will just agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. And just go our separate ways. Go in separate ways. But I'll see you next week? Yeah, we'll do this again next okay, week. Okay, I can't wait. But also I'm gonna sit right here and not go anywhere right now because I need to digest a little. Hold me. Well, how do I how do I hold you? I don't know.